Good evening, Maria. How are you today? Fine, thank you, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Okay. How far have you gone on the platform, Maria? Uh, I finished section three and I begin in the section four, teacher. I, okay. Have you worked on the midterm? Yes, yes. I finished midterm. Now you finished the midterm. So you work in the section four, which is very good. Congratulations. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Very good. And I've seen that you got only one hundreds. Excuse me, I don't understand. Ah, that uh, your grades are only one hundred. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I checked. Thank I, I've been you. checking. I've been checking. Good evening, okay. Guillermo. How are you today? Turn, turn on your microphone, Guillermo. How are you today? Lily, how are you today, Lily? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine? Fine, teacher. Okay, very good. How was your day? It was very busy today. Very busy today. Okay. But it, thanks, <laughs> thanks God it's Friday. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Guillermo. How are you? Do you have you had any problems with the platform exercises? Yes, teacher. I couldn't finish the section three. Section but three. But I will work tomorrow. Ah, but uh, is because it's something that you don't understand, or you haven't had time? Uh, because I had time. Okay. So teacher. Have, yes, sir. Uh, did you hear me uh, when I answered your question? No, but I can hear you now, uh, Guillermo. Right. Yes, right. Uh, I, I want to apologize for, for the inconvenience that I had with, uh, with the internet all this week, and but they, they, uh, I, I already have the, the problem solved with the communication. Okay, very good. I just want to uh, update you. Okay, now, uh, uh, have you worked I, on the platform, Guillermo? Yes, I have. I've been working and, and I, read, I already completed the, the section three, two and three, and I, I, I did the, the midterm, the midterm two. Okay, so you are okay then. Okay, fine. Have you had any problems, any questions, any mm -hmm. doubts? Uh, uh, no, at all. Um, I just want to, to up to date. I, um, I don't know. I just want to be um, in, commun in good communication with with you, and I hope to to complete the other section uh, 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 during these days. Okay, no problem. So you are doing okay so far with the platform. Okay, and welcome to the to the Thank video you. conferences. Okay. Okay. And I Thank hope you. they. Uh, they will be useful to you, okay? Yes, right, thank you. Okay, now, have you received the material that we have been working with? Uh, I, I already downloaded the, the, the section uh, three and four and five that you, that you uploaded uh, uh, this week. Okay, um, very good, very I, good, very good. I've been reading, I've been reading the section three, but I haven't, uh, uh, I haven't read the, the section four, but I, I am thinking to to do it uh, during the uh, during the weekend. But uh, I I finished the midterm exam. Uh, I don't know if I didn't have to if I have to to complete that today. Yeah, well, uh, you're supposed to complete it uh, as for this week. Okay. Mm, okay. 
Okay, so uh, on the second week, which is this one, we are ending today. You're supposed, uh, well, on the weekend before we start next month, next Monday, you're mm -hmm. supposed to uh, have completed the, the the midterm section three and the midterm. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. So you are right on schedule. You are right on schedule. Okay. Okay. Thank Thank you very much. No problem. For the information. No problem. And uh, uh, if we have time today, we are going to start section four today. Maybe, if we have time. The purpose is to finish section three and uh, review some topics if you find it that is important to, to review some topics. So I will, uh, okay. I will do that, all right? Okay, thank you. Okay, good evening, Guadalupe. How are you today? Hello, Guadalupe, are you there? Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm okay. Okay, very I couldn't, good. I couldn't connect to yesterday. I don't know why. Okay, it's okay, but you are right here today. That's what yeah. it counts, okay? Yes, yes, and, thank uh, you. Uh, how far? Uh, I see that you have completed the platform, right? Section three you, and the midterm. Did, did you see? Yeah, I've been, I've been, uh, every day I watch everybody's progress. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to do it during my lunch, so. Okay. Now, but you have the, the weekend in order to do the midterm, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give another minute before the ones that haven't entered yet, okay? Okay, very good, guys. Uh, Ah, uh, hello, Ivan. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm good. Okay, very good. How was your day today? Nice? It was good, yes. It's the it's cold the weather. Yeah, the weather is kind of yeah, kind of cold. Yeah. Okay, very good. We are going to start, okay? And I want you to get to your um to your uh, material on wish plus present. We are going to repeat all the, the wish, okay? So I don't know if you can see the screen. Yes. 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 Okay, yes. so this is not the topic for today, but I'm just gonna present it because it exists and it might create a confusion. Okay, so we usually use which plus present to wish things to people. For example, number one, I wish you a pleasant stay here, okay? So when you come, when there is a tourist, so you say, I wish you a pleasant stay here. So can you see that is in the present? The statement is in the present. Now, enjoy the holiday. I wish you have a great time. So you see here, you have a great time is also in the present. So wishes plus present. Goodbye. I wish you all the best. So you see, all the best is in the present. They say goodbye to each other and wish each other luck. 
Mama. You see which plus a uh, present statement. We're going to have a picnic tomorrow. So I wish the weather is nice. So you wish something to happen. So that is in the present. I wish luck in your new job. It works out well for you. So you see, we use simple present. To wish somebody uh, something. Okay, now the topic for us tonight is wish plus past. Okay, and it's better explained right here. Okay, wish plus simple past. We can use wish to talk about something that we would like to be different. Okay, in the present or the future. But it's not that I wish you something to happen. No, I wish something will be different in the present or in the future. And it is used for things which are impossible or very unlikely to change. Okay? So that's why, and that is the main reason that we use which plus simple past. Because we want something to be different in the present or in the future. Okay, so if we come over here and see what do you say in these situations, so we are going to use wish plus past because we want something to be different in the present. It is raining. It is raining. So what do you say? You want to go out, but not in the rain. So you say, I wish it wasn't raining. So you see, this is in the past. Is that clear? And you want the situation to change. It's raining, and you wouldn't like at that moment to be raining. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Okay, now number two. You are waiting for Jane. She is late and you are getting impatient. So what do you say to yourself? I wish she wasn't late. I wish she hurried. Or I wish I was patient. Because you want to change the situation that, she, that you are waiting. You don't want to wait. Is that clear? So you see, yes. you say, I wish she wasn't late. I wish she hurried or I wish I was patient. Okay, which I am not patient. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, you are looking for a job and so far without any success. Nobody is giving you a job at the moment. So what do you say? You say, I wish I found a job because you want this situation to be different. I wish I found a job or I wish somebody gave me a job. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? yes. Very good. Now, you can hear a baby crying and it's been crying for a long time and you are trying to study. Okay? So you say, I wish the baby stopped crying. That is one thing. I wish the baby stopped crying. The baby is crying. So you wish the baby stopped crying. So that is the different situation that you would like to change. I wish the baby wasn't crying. So you want that situation to be changed. And I wish I, I had a quiet space or place to study. Is that clear? Because you want that situation to be different. Change. Is that clear? So you have to change the, the tense, the time tense. Yeah, you use the past tense. That's what we use. Okay, we use wish plus simple past to express okay. that you want something to be different in the present or the future. And it's almost... It's impossible or almost impossible to happen. Okay. Okay. Now, in Spanish, we say, I wish, yo deseo, 
For example, this one, number one. It is raining. I wish it wasn't raining. Hey, yo desearía que no lloviera. She, uh, she's late. I, uh, I wish she wasn't late. Yo desearía que ella no estuviera tarde. O uh, yo desearía que se apurara. O yo desearía que yo fuera paciente. Are we clear? Yes. yes. Okay, is to talk about uh, that something to be different. different, but in the present or in the near future. Okay, which is not going to happen. Okay, now, Brian has been wearing the same clothes for years. So you think he needs some new clothes. So you say to Brian, I wish, probably because you say to Brian, you say, I wish you bought a new clothes. Or I wish you wore new clothes. Or I wish you got new clothes. Or you say to him, I wish you didn't wear the same clothes. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Ok, yo desearía que compraras nueva ropa, que usaras nueva ropa o que obtuvieras nueva ropa o que consiguieras nueva ropa. And yo desearía que no usaras la misma ropa. Ok. For the following situations, write the sentences with I wish. Ok, your friend drives very fast. You don't like this. So what do you say to your friend? I wish you drove slowly. I wish you drove slowly. Or? I wish you didn't drive fast. I wish you didn't drive fast, right? Because you expect the situation to, to be different. Can we use a slower instead of slowly? No, I wish you drove slower, yeah. Yeah, it's no problem. Okay. Okay, now number seven. Joe leaves the door open all the time. This annoys you. So what do you say to Joe? I wish you closed the door all the time. Okay, or I wish you didn't leave the door open all the time. Okay, it's also possible. I wish you didn't leave the door open all the time. Okay. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, a lot of people drop litter in the street. Drop litter is botar basura on the street. So you don't like this. So what do you say to people? Or what do you say to yourself? I wish people didn't drop litter on the street. I wish people didn't drop litter on the street. That is correct. Okay, it's a wish. It's a wish that you expect something to change. Rewrite the sentences, okay? Now, let's see. If uh, uh, I wish Sarah would be here now. So, can you change it using wish plus past? I Hello. wish Sarah wouldn't, wasn't here. I wish, uh -huh, but remember, I wish that uh -huh, Sarah wasn't here. I wish Sarah was here. Was right? here. I wish Sarah was here now. Is Sarah here now? No, she isn't. So that is what you want to change. Number two, I wish you would listen to me. So what do you say? I wish. I wish. You were to me. I, I wish. You listened to me. Uh-huh. I wish you listened and in the past. I wish you listened to me. Perfect. That's what women always say, right? Yo desearía que me escucharas. Okay, next. Now, 
Uh, I wish I will have more free time. So what do you wish? I wish you had more free time. I, have. I wish I, I, right? I had. I had more. More free time. Free time. More free time. That is correct. I wish I had more free time. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. And yesterday you said that verb to be always is word, not was. Yes, but we are going to leave it here because in this exercise, for example, in this one, uh, they left wasn't. So I don't want to confuse you. Okay. But I don't know if you if you read the the the, the lesson in the in the platform. Did you watch the video about this, about wish? Uh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. The general rule is that we use wearing, but that is optional. Some grammar books require, require that you use wearing all the time when you use if and when you use which. And some other books do not, do not require that. So I will leave it up to you. Now, American English always requires wearing. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Just like when uh, you, you, uh, you see conditionals with if in the simple past, when you talk about the verb to be, it's always where, if I were in the United States, okay? Even though the correct way is was, but only that exception that when you work in conditional if, and when you make a wish, you can use wearing, okay? So I will leave it up to you. Now, in the platform, use wearing because that's the way they are, they are requiring it. Am I clear? Yes. Y lo voy a decir esto en español, ¿verdad? En la plataforma, usted use siempre where. Porque es la forma que se está explicando ahí, ¿verdad? En la plataforma. Now, uh, you will see that in some grammar books, like in this one, they use wasn't. Okay? So, it's okay. So, in, in order not to confuse you, you can use whatever. But in the platform, use wear or wearing okay excuse okay. me uh, yes uh, okay. for example if 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 he if it was written uh, i wish that they weren't busy tomorrow can i say weren't in, instead of using was wasn't okay but in the in the case of we what you have to use is where but let's put it this way right here i wish sarah Sarah is supposed to be was, right? But in the platform, mm -hmm. it will require that you use where. I wish Sarah were here now, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, more examples is like, uh, let me see if we, we have more right here. Yes, okay, I wish it weren't raining, okay? I wish it weren't raining. Okay, that's what the platform will ask you to do. That all the, the time you use where? In the opposite way, it's it's wrong. No, it's not wrong, okay? It depends, okay? Some grammar books don't ask you, don't require that you use wearing. But most, most of the grammar books, they do require that you use wearing when it's with if, and when is with wish. The teacher, as you said, that is up to you if you use where or was. Yes, it is up to you in your English, but in the platform, mm -hmm. it's not up to you. In the platform, you have to use where. 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 But can we say you was here or not? No, because that is wrong. Because remember that the form of the verb be for you is where. Yeah. Remember that was is only for I, he, she, and it. Yeah. Okay. But when we use, when we are going to form questions using if and wish, uh, it requires that we use where or wherein. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Only okay. with if and with a wish. If and wish. Got okay. You. Otherwise, you respect you respect the verb to be. Was and where. I, he, she, and it was. You, we, and they were. Where. Okay. But in this case that we are working with wish, we are going to work all of them with where. Like in this case, I wish the baby. I wish the baby weren't crying. Okay. And we are going to work all of them like that from now on to follow the order of the platform. Even though, like I said, you know, I downloaded this exercise and in the example they use wasn't because they admit it that way. Some grammar books admit it. So I left it like that because I don't want to confuse you. But from now on, we are going to use only wearing. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So let's go with the next one. Okay. Now, I wish our flat would be a bit bigger. So what is the... Let's change it. I wish... Hello. I What's wish flat? our flat... Flat was. Okay. So, but remember, we are always going to use where. Even mm -hmm. though the apartment is it, we are going to use where. Where? A bit bigger. A bit bigger. That is correct. I wish our flat were a bit bigger. What is flat? Flat is an apartment. That is European English. Okay. In, uh, in Europe, in Europe, they say. But in America, in American, it's they, like a bandera, right? No, no. Flat is plano. Flag. Flag with a G ah, okay. is okay. Bandera, but flat is plano, okay. and, and that is because apartments, you know, because they are in buildings, they are flat, right? Ah, okay, Los okay. apartamentos son planos, okay? So that's what they call it in, in Europe, a flat, okay? European English. American English, they use apartment, apartment, okay? I wish the weather will change. Will change. I wish. I wish the I weather were change. No, no, were change. Didn't change. No, no. I want it to change. So I, I need the past tense. Change. Changed. Changed. Uh -huh. I wish change. the weather changed. Change. Yo desearía que, la, que el tiempo cambiara. Cambiara. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. The next one. I wish you wouldn't complain all the time. I wish you you complain it. No, no, all because it's, neg it's negative. Didn't. Uh -huh. didn't. You didn't, didn't. complain. Didn't. You didn't complain all the time. Okay. So I wish you didn't complain all the time. Yes. Now I wish. Okay, la habían dejado. I wish everything wouldn't be so expensive. I wish everything. Everything. Weren't, 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 weren't so expensive. That is correct. Weren't so expensive, and then you have it. Very good. <laughs> So expensive. So expensive. Okay, now let's let's see. Okay, now take a look. We use wish plus simple past. And we say it, we use wish to talk about something that and simple past to talk about that we would like something to be different in the present okay and remember that i gave you an example with which plus present statement but that is to wish you well hey i wish you have a good uh, holiday i wish you have a, a happy birthday 
okay? That is wishing something in the present. Now, when you use it with the simple past, is because you want something to change, something to be different in the present. Not that you are wishing some other, somebody something good, is that you wish that something will be different in the present. Is that clear? That's what we are practicing right now. Wish plus simple past meaning is to that you don't like something and you would like it to be changed. Obviously, that is impossible or almost impossible. Okay? Let's see. I wish I had a big house. That means that you have a small house. But you wish you had a big house. So you wish that your reality will be different now. You don't have, you don't have a big house, but it's a nice idea, right? I wish that we didn't need to work today. But what but is the reality? What is work. the reality? We do need to work every day, right? Because we need the bread in our table. So unfortunately, we need to work every day. But you would like that reality to be different. I wish that you live close by. So what happened? You live far away. But you, but I wish that you live close by me. That is especially when you are boyfriend and girlfriend. And you say, oh, I, I wish that you live close by so I can visit you every day. Right? The next Thank one. You. I wish that John wasn't okay and we say we are going to change this to where wearing all the time right i wish that john weren't busy tomorrow but what is the reality tomorrow he will be very busy is that clear mm -hmm. hello is that clear yes. 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 Like yes. okay now okay very good clear as the water of the Aselwater River now with these rains. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, now let's see. What do you wish? Here, I wish we, and here is the verb that you are going to use. Wearing? No, no wearing, because this is the verb that you are going to use. Uh, but then, uh, you remember okay. that you are going to use wearing only, only? If with the verb be, like in this case right here, that is telling you the verb be. So in that case, we are going to use it. Okay, so let's see. I wish, I wish it's we negative. Have. We, have. we did, have. I didn't have, have. I didn't have, have. Test have. Test today. Test today. Like you are going to the university, oh no, and you have a math. Have a I wish we didn't have a test today. But the reality is you have a test anyway, right? Okay, number two, the verb is be and in negative. I wish I the wish, exercises I wish. Weren't, 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 so, weren't, so, weren't so difficult. So difficult, you got it, very good. Now, number three, they say live a I wish. We didn't I live. wish we no, no, live didn't in because it's beach. not negative. I wish. No, you, have, wish you only have to use the verb in the beach. Exactly. I wish we live we near live the beach. Near the beach. Right. So some people wish they live near the beach, but the reality is they live here in San Salvador. Okay, now the next one. Do you ever wish you... Do you ever could travel more? Exactly. Do you ever could wish... Travel. You could, could travel, travel. Oh. right? And the past tense is in the can, right? You change it to the past. Do you ever wish you could travel more? Very good. The next one, B. I wish I, wish I, I were, better at, were better at math. Uh -huh. I wish I were better at math. Very good. Excellent. The next one, number six. I wish... I wish I didn't have to wear a school uniform. Didn't have to wear a school uniform. 
I wish we didn't have to wear a school uniform. That is correct. Sometimes, now, sometimes, I, I, sometimes wish, I wish I, wish I, I could, could fly. 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 Exactly. fly. I could fly. And the one that takes the pass is the bird can, right? Okay, now the next one, number eight. I wish, I wish, I wish, wish we could go to Disney World. I wish we could go to Disney World. That is correct. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Now, this is the reality. Okay? Now, you are going to make a wish based on this. Okay? That is the reality. And you are going to make the reality... We're gonna make a wish, hoping and wishing the reality is different. Okay, so let's see what is number one. I don't have a car. I have a car. I have a car. Correct. I wish I had. I wish a car. I have a car. Right. I can play the piano. I wish I wish I could play the piano. Play the piano. I could play the piano. Right the piano. I wish I could play the piano. Now, I am... I am at work. I wish I weren't at work. I am at work, so what do you wish? <laughs> I wish... I wish I weren't at work. Uh-huh, I wish I weren't Warren. Um, at work. At work. Right. I wish I weren't at work. I wish I wish I were on the beach. Or I wish I were on the mountain. Or I wish I were at home. It's winter. You don't like the winter, so I wish I wish I, wish I... When I wouldn't. I wouldn't. No, 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 I'm not the winter. Weren't. I wish. 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 I I wish. 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 I I wish. I wish. I I I wish I, I wish I weren't ill. I wish I weren't ill. I wish if I were fine. I wish I were fine. I don't have new shoes. I wish I had a new shoes. Uh -huh. I wish I had new shoes. Now, I can't afford to go on holiday. What do you wish? I wish I could afford to go on holiday. Okay, I wish I could afford to go on holidays. Okay, let's see. Irving, I don't have time to read lots of books. I wish. The... Can you listen? Uh... Yes, I'm listening. I'm okay. listening. Okay, I wish. Um, I wish I have. I have. Uh -huh, time to I read a lot of books. Uh -huh, I wish I had time to read books. Very good. The next one, uh, Ivan, I can't drive. I wish I could drive. I wish I could drive. Okay, Eleonora, my laptop is broken. Um, my, I wish, my remember, I, I wish, wish, I wish, I wish my laptop and were, weren't, weren't, weren't broke. Weren't broken, no. Weren't broken, okay, very good, Mario. I am I am sick. I wish I weren't sick. Okay, Brenda, I don't have new shoes. I wish I 
I wish I had new shoes. Okay, Linda, let me see who else is here. Let me get to this. Okay, Maria Reyes. I can't afford to go on holidays. Maria Reyes. Ay, perdón, tenía desconectado. El... Okay. ¿Qué número? Okay. I could, I, I wish I, I could, couldn't afford Mama. to go on holiday, teacher. I, I wish I couldn't afford, or I wish I could afford. I, I wish, wish I could. I could. Uh -huh, okay. Because you want the situation to be different. I wish I could afford to go on holiday. Okay, Tatiana, number eight. Okay. I wish I had time to read lots of books. Uh -huh. I wish I had time to read lots of books. Andrea, I can't drive. I wish I could... I wish I could drive. Very good. Obdulio, my laptop is, is broken. I wish my laptop weren't broken. Weren't broken. Maria Hernandez, I don't have a car. I wish I wish didn't have. No, didn't. Because you want um, this situation to be different. I wish. No tengo carro. Usted desea tener carro. I Entonces, wish call had a car. I wish I had a car. Had a car. I wish I had a car. Okay. I wish I had a car. Uh, let me see who is there. Linda, what is the next one? Uh, I can't play the piano. Hello, Linda, are you there? Turn on your microphone. Cindy, are you there? Yes, teacher. I, I can't play the piano. I wish I could play the piano. Very good. Uh, Linda, are you there, Linda? Linda, Linda? Okay. Was that clear then? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay, yes. very good. Now, before we get to section number four, this is section number four. Okay, I would like to ask you a question. Do you have any questions about all the material that we have already studied? No, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Remember yes. the simple past, the simple past of the verb be, the simple past of uh, other verbs except be, then we saw two plus an, uh, indirect questions. We saw two plus an adjective and enough, adjective plus enough. Okay, so that is clear. Hello, yeah. that is clear. Yes. Yes, okay. Linda, how are you, Linda? Are you okay now? Okay, so let's see. Now, present perfect versus simple past. Okay, now, what is the difference? Okay, the difference. Okay, listen to this explanation. I use present perfect when the action begins in the past. I'm describing an action that begins in the past and that action is still active in the present. For example, I have eaten pupusas. The action began when I ate my first pupusa. But that action is still active in the present and probably continue into the future. Because I still, I'm still going to eat pupusas probably tomorrow or on Sunday. Do you understand? So the action 
started in the past and that action is still active today and it might continue into the future. For example, I have lived in El Salvador. So that means that it started when I came to this country and it's still active today because I am living here in El Salvador and probably it's gonna go into the future. Are we clear? Yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Now, what is the difference between the simple past? The simple past describes an action that started in the past and also ended in the past. I'm gonna put the same examples. For example, let me see when I ate pupusas Sunday. I ate pupusas Sundays. When did I eat the pupusas? Sunday. Sunday. So the action finished Sunday. Sunday. Okay, because I am saying when the action finished. Okay, now, uh, I, I lived, I lived in the USA uh, three years. Now, do I live in the United States? No. No, I live here. Mm -hmm. So you see, I use the simple past tense because that action started in the past and also finished. Finish ended in the past is that clear so yes. yes you must always use the present perfect when the time of an action is not important or not specified because if you specify the time that then you you have to use simple past if you specify the time you must always use the simple past when details about the time or place that an action occurred are given or requested. So to see it easier, if the action started and ended in the past, simple past. If an action started in the past and is still active today, so or continues into the future, then you are going to use present perfect. For example, I have lived in Lyon. Lyon is a French city. So that means that he started sometime in the past and he still lives in Lyon. Okay? Now, okay. if I say I live in Lyon in 1989, I have to use simple past because I am specifying the time when the action occurred so i Excuse have to me, teacher the, yes? present the present perfect in the number one i have lived in night lion in lion uh -huh. in spanish in espanol como sería yo he yo vivido, he vivido, yo he vivido. okay yo he vivido, uh -huh. pero no está... perfect, the auxiliaries are have for i you we and they and mm -hmm. having is the negative. I haven't lived in Lyon. Yo no he vivido en, en, en Lyon. And for he, she and it, the auxiliary is yes. has. And oh, okay. we use the past participle of the verb, not the simple past. We use the past participle of the verb. Is that clear? For example, yeah. when we say, I, I went to Miami last year. When I say, I have gone to Miami many times. But yo fui a Miami el año pasado. El año pasado es mi simple tiempo. Pass. Es el tiempo. So I have to use simple past. I went to Miami last year. But when I say I have gone to Miami many times, yo he ido a Miami varias veces o muchas veces. ¿Está claro? Yes. So if you okay. specify the time, you have to use simple past. Look, they have eaten Thai food. Ellos han comido comida tailandesa. Como no dice el tiempo, maybe they did it the first time they tried Thai food 
and they will continue eating Thai food if they like it. Now, if I say, look, and you see eaten, past participle, can you see it? Now, they ate Thai food last night. I specify when the action occurred, and then I have to use simple past. Are we clear? Yes. Have you yes. seen Otelo? That's a play. Esa es una obra de arte, una obra de teatro. Have you seen Otelo? ¿Ha visto Otelo? When I say, where did you see Otelo? ¿A dónde vio Otelo? You're talking about a specific. This question will require a specific time. So that's why this question is asking about a specific time in the past. Teacher, we can use we can use to when do you see Otelo? But when I say it could when, be possible. It's because I'm asking when. In this case, they uh, are course, asking uh -huh, yeah. where where do you see Otelo? Okay. okay, the place. But in in that case, you can say when, when you or, you want to... or or or. Or, uh -huh. You want to know the specific, the specific time too. If, if you want to know the specific time, but but remember, the question refers to a specific time. Cuando viste a Otelo? Okay. I was okay. at a specific I time. I saw it in London in 1989 or in in 2000. Okay, it refers to okay. a specific time. We have been to okay, Ireland. Got it. Nosotros hemos estado en Ireland. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. did you go to Ireland? And you can see here. When did you go to Ireland? That answer will require a time expression. When did you go to Ireland? I went to Ireland last year. I went to Ireland in 2015. And that this question, all the questions that are done with when have to be in the simple past because they require a specific time. Now, let's see. Time expression. If I say last summer, you are, you're gonna, you are going to use it with present perfect or with simple past? Um, for past. Uh -huh, because I'm the last specifying summer. last the summer. specific last a, a specific, specific time. time. So you have to use time. it with simple past. Now, if I say this month, simple past. No, simple past. No, Press. because if I ask you, have you eaten pupusas this month? Ha comido pupusas este mes? Cabe, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ok, ahora, yes. si yo hubiera puesto last month, last month, yeah, it's simple. Yes, it's simple past. Did you eat pupusas last month? But this month leaves it open, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Now, when I say since Monday, desde el lunes, simple past? Or... Simple past. Simple past. Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Uh -huh. I have eaten or I have practiced English since Monday, the, the lunes. So Monday, Tuesday, and today I'm practicing. So it's present yeah. perfect. Now, if I say four days ago, what do simple I use? Past. Present perfect it's or simple, simple past? past? Simple past. Simple past. 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 Porque fue hace cuatro días. Cuatro días. Okay? So that is a specific time. This weekend. Simple past. Present, present, present perfect. perfect. Present perfect. Both. Both. Oh, so you okay. have to be careful. Both. Okay? This so, weekend, for example, if I say, uh, if, for example, if it is Monday, I play volleyball this weekend. It's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I have played volleyball this weekend. It's also okay. He jugado volleyball, mm -hmm. he jugado whatever volleyball is the fin de semana. So that means probably I will continue. So both. Depends. Okay? 
When I was five. Simple past. Aha, uh -huh. everybody's opinion. When I was five. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. You are correct. Simple past. Cuando tenía cinco. That is when the action finished. Yesterday. Simple past. Simple, simple past. past. Simple past. That is correct. Simple past. In my life. Present, Present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. perfect, right? I, I have, uh, well, I have danced tango twice in my life. That means that I, that I finish? No, I might continue. Okay, today. Both. Present perfect. Pre uh, both, right? Both. Because if both. I refer, if I refer to an action that I did today, yeah, simple past. If I refer that I did something today and I'm going to continue, also is possible, mm -hmm. depending on the context. In 1919, simple, simple past. past. Simple, simple past. past. That is correct. Simple past. Until now, Pres present perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. That is correct. Present perfect. Hasta ahora. So probably I will continue. Already? Present perfect. Present perfect. Both. Perfect. Both. Because you did, you say, eh, yo ya he bailado lambada. I have already danced lambada. But you can say, yo ya comí. That is simple. Right? Mm -hmm. so both. Both. That depends on the context. When we live there, Present perfect. perfect. No? No. Simple it has to be simple, simple past. past. Simple when past. We live there. Simple Remember, past. when you use when, ooh, usually it's simple past. So perfect. far. So far means hasta ahora. Just like until now. Present perfect. Present perfect. perfect. Present perfect. Very good. Present perfect. Now, I have some exercises that we are going to do. Okay. Now, that you are going to do. For example, Mario Marenko. We're going to start with Mario. What is the first one? Simple pass or present perfect? Mario Marenko, are you there? Yeah, teacher, sorry. Okay. Uh, it's simple pass. No, no, but tell me the sentence. If it is in the simple past, ah, okay. this is the verb in parentheses. I had, I had eaten, eaten lunch no, 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 no. yesterday. No. Remember, no, simple past only requires the verb in the past. That's it. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So okay. I had lunch with Emily lunch yesterday. Lunch with Emily yesterday. Okay, very good. Let's see, Obdulio. My son. My son. Uh, um, help, Maria. My son Hassan. Aha, uh -huh, Hassan. Who say Hassan? Aha, uh -huh, Hassan. Come. Hassan, come. Past participle. Hassan, come from school. Yet from school. The action yet. hasn't been finished. Right? It's still active. Okay. Very good. Maria Hernandez, number three. Hello, Maria. Are you there, Maria? Le durmió, teacher. No lo entiendo. Okay. Now, is this action? Now, this one can be both. Okay. Vamos a ver, Maria. Si la, si la acción ya terminó y dice un, una fecha, un momento específico, es cinco pasos. Cinco pasos. If the action... 
It started in the past in my continue, that is present perfect. For example, in this one, I can say, because it's a question, simple past, yes, I can make the question in simple past. How is the question in simple past? How is the question in simple pass? Let's see, right here. Okay, did, because it's a question, did you make- Did you make- Did you make your bed today? It's okay. Now, I also, I could have say, have you, <laughs> you have made. you made your bed? Have you made your bed today? Has hecho o has arreglado tu cama hoy? So both are possible. Now remember that present perfect auxiliaries are have and has. Is that clear, Maria? Yes. So in this case, both are possible. Both are possible. I Thank will you. choose did you make your bed today? Okay, but also is that all the possibility? Mister, yes. uh, in, the, in the exercise too, we can say my son didn't come from school yet. No, porque usted dice, como dice en español, mi, mi hijo no vino de la escuela todavía o mi hijo no ha venido de la escuela todavía. What sounds better? No ha venido. Uh -huh, exactly. So we use the same thing, but no ha venido. The action de no venir is still active. Todavía está activa la acción de no venir. Okay. The, the yet, yet word. Okay, very good. Number three. Let's see number three, Cindy. Um, word the question. Number four. Uh -huh. Number four, uh -huh. where? Where did you go last summer? Where did you go? Exactly, because last summer, very good. And I'm gonna point this uh, now. Okay, next, uh, Linda, number five. Okay, I... I haven't. I haven't. Past participle of where? Where the. What is the past participle where, of where? Where. No. Where, um. Worn. Worn. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I haven't worn this shirt where. this week. Uh huh. Complete. Complete the sentence, uh, Linda. I haven't worn this shirt this week. I haven't worn this shirt this week. Yo no he usado esta camisa esta semana. ¿Está clear? Yes. Okay, very Pero good. la puede usar. Yeah, they, uh, up to now I haven't worn it, but I might wear it on the weekend, right? Tomorrow, later. Okay, Tatiana, number... Number six. Okay. How much money have you won so far? Have you won so far? Very good. ¿Cuánto dinero ha ganado hasta ahora? How much money have you won so far? Very good. Okay. The next one, eh, Andrea. It, it, it have rained a lot of this day. Uh -huh. But with this pronoun, what is the correct auxiliary? Has. Uh -huh. it, is. it has. It has, has. sorry. Rained a lot these days. Okay. Okay, okay, guys, I have to stop because of time. Now, I will repeat this topic on Monday, okay? 
Okay. I will repeat okay. it. I, I will send you more information. Okay. I will send okay. you more information Please. on Monday. Okay. To clarify. Okay. okay. Uh, just reminding you this week you have you must have completed section one, two, three, and the midterm. Okay. okay. So please go okay. ahead and work on your platform. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Okay. And I will see you Monday. Monday. Okay, and Monday, Monday don't yeah. miss the class because I'm going to repeat with extra material this topic. Okay? Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. 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 Bye. See you tomorrow. No, see you Monday.